What's up, Kingdom family? Welcome back to the Keys to the Kingdom, where we drop all the keys to the kingdom. Dr. G is in the building. If you are new to the royal family, come on and hit that subscribe button because we are kings and queens actively living out our purposes, full of positive vibes, changing lives, and loving on the Lord, right? This is the place to be. You do not want to miss the messages that come through on my channel. Shout out to my faithful family. Always holding it down in the comments. I love y'all so very much, and I'm blessed to share this journey with all of you listen baby your father has a word of encouragement for you all okay so many things have been happening i've been hearing so many stories i had a meeting with my sister in christ today and she was basically telling me how you know she's been feeling discouraged and falling into a spirit of depression and basically it's because god gave her a promise and you know her current circumstances is not looking like what the promise um that was spoken over her life right and um she just wanted to know am i going crazy right um did i hear god correctly and one thing that she mentioned that stood out to me was she said i feel like the promise that the lord gave me was too good to be true and when she said she felt like it was too good to be true it uh reminded me and brought me back to a place where on june 11th of 2022 god let me drive by this sign and it says god never said anything <laughs> oh my goodness this hit my spirit that day so heavily family listen baby god never said anything too good to be true okay he must have knew this moment was gonna come today okay because june 21st is when i had the meeting with my sister in christ and i seen this on june 11th so i was already prepared all right to encourage my sister and god is just good like that praise god type in the comments god is just good like that if you know he's good and he's preparing you for everything that's coming your way but yes so when i read this sign it was on a day that he was preparing me to go on a 21 uh day fast and I was having a series of events happen and it was like back to back, back to back, back to back confirmation and my my spirit was just being filled up and I was being um, excited, like I was getting excited and he was like basically even um, encouraging me, right? Do not have disbelief during this time because I never said anything that was too good to be true, meaning it's going to happen and i said it and yes that's that belongs to you or that's yours and you're going to possess this in the land right because i said it and what i say i do okay god is still performing miracles he is still actively working in your life and so this sign this statement really um just spoke to my heart okay and ever since then he has been talking to me back to back and so i'm going to just give you the nuggets that the lord has been giving me to keep me encouraged on my journey and i pray that it helps you remain encouraged on yours okay hallelujah so uh the next statement that he said was keep smiling keep shining happy june um this is beautiful i've seen this on my driver and no i do not edit my video so y'all gonna get it how y'all get it okay praise the lord praise the lord <laughs> it says keep smiling keep shining happy june listen baby put your smile on your face okay he gave us a song before and he was talking about your smile he wants to see you smiling he wants to hear you praising he wants to see you um really living how you would be living okay if everything was in motion if everything was in flow living confidently like you know that your father is working for you behind your scenes and he loves you so much and he cares about you so much okay another statement that he gave me it says your prayers create miracles this was actually a video i watched on youtube i think it's about priscilla share I think that's what it was it says your prayers create miracles so i don't know who this is for but if you have not been praying consistently if it has not been those effectual fervent prayers hallelujah because those prayers um of a righteous man availeth much right if you have not been breaking the chains in the spiritual realm and coming for the devil's neck right keeping the enemy beneath your feet letting him know like listen baby that belongs to me i'm commanding the things down from the heavenly realms that my father has promised me that he has spoken to me okay i'm coming into agreement with the lord hallelujah everything that you have spoken over my life lord jesus i want to see right and just staying in a heart of um repentance excuse me and gratitude right having a heart an attitude of gratitude so that those blessings and those miracles can be released i was watching um 
another pastor and he was basically saying that we are the point of contact in the earthly realm for certain people and, and for God, basically. So if God puts you in charge of somebody or puts you over somebody, right? Like to oversee, to intercede, to cover them in some type of way, okay? He sh is telling you like, hey, baby, you're the vessel, right? That I want to use to protect that person, to bring that person out, to bring that person home, to show that person unconditional love, to show that person what it means to be um, secure or confident or living your purpose, right? Or of what it means to have increased increased faith to have crazy faith and even when I was speaking to my sister she was like listen Brittany I've been seeing God do miracles in my life I've been seeing him perform these little miracles right and so I know that he has the the ability to do it and of course he does right and he will it's just going to be at that appointed time when he um is ready right and we know that it is also a surprise to us okay and so he's not going to give you the exact date because I was also thinking like okay you said this date you said this date you said this date something happens on the date but it's not what we think is going to happen on the date and i have another video and i i really despise referring to other videos because then y'all get in the comments like what video are you talking about and i don't feel like going back to look at it but anyway it, it was another video where i said the dates that you heard were markers like it's markers on your journey so god is not lying to you even in the moments of him giving you dates prophetically he's letting you know something is happening i might be giving you more encouragement on that day to get to your next point right where of where i need to take you or i might be blessing you in one area of your life like giving you another promise right giving you um helping you birth something else okay because we're we're spiritually pregnant right now we're giving birth to multiple things hallelujah and so you have to um just stay in the flow of god and understand like he's gonna get you where he wants you to be when he wants you to be there and a lot of it is because he just wants to surprise you and put a smile on your face so he's not gonna give you that concrete date okay so um yes god is still performing miracles your prayers are going to help release those miracles okay so stay prayed up out here something else he's uh shown me visually it says love the life you see love the life you see and so i seen that on a truck and i was like it, it jumped out at me and i was like okay lord that was him telling me like Brittany, how can you remain present in the moment, right? How can you embrace the life that you see right now in this present moment, right? We spoke about this before, family. God is with us in the moment. So how can we show that we are living in the moment we are embracing every moment and maximizing every single moment that we are spending in the presence of the Lord and not getting too far ahead of ourselves in the future or preventing ourselves from going to the future by living too much in the past right living too far in our histories and the things that have hurt us and harmed us okay and so um what you need to know the, the one of the greatest statements that i loved out of this whole thing was god never said anything that was too good to be true so if he's spoken over your life it is because it is the truth baby and it is because it is indeed happening okay surely <laughs> it is happening okay for you surely it is happening for you but when things get out of order and let me tell you why this is the number one reason why it is because we are faithless and we are falling into a spirit of disbelief listen when my faith is on a thousand i'm out here singing dancing covering praying speaking positive speaking life like listen like come on, baby. so much love it's just so much of the holy spirit is just like overflowing out of me right i'm like yes i'm ready for it all okay i'm breaking stuff casting stuff out like just wilding out for the lord right but as soon <laughs> as a little thought comes to my mind they want to get me to go left <laughs> okay god gotta reel me back in and this is how he reels me back in but um it's like no try to reframe from having that spirit of disbelief or allowing those thoughts to um penetrate um uh, an emotion or, or inflict an emotion rather and then that emotion is causing you to act out in a way that is just like not pleasing to the lord okay because god if he said it he's going to do it and he is still with you god is with you okay so here's what's happening this is the cycle this is how he broke it down to me and i was like god you're a genius because this is literally what happens right so we fall into the spirit of disbelief why because we're not trusting in god's timing that's the first thing that's happening you're not trusting in god's perfect timing for your life if you really believe that his timing is perfect then you would be okay with where you are in the moment would you not <laughs> you would be perfectly fine because you're like okay everything's still on time we're still good god you're still good right 
when you don't believe in God's perfect timing, you now become impatient because you're like, Lord, you moving too slow. Somebody moving too slow. Somebody in disobedience, somebody rebellion, somebody, something not happening because something not something, right? Like somebody not working, somebody not doing something. And it's just like, you don't know what's really happening. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not happening, okay only thing that god needs you to do is have faith plus action so can you stand on it can you put your faith on it can you put your your action behind it right and so we're not trusting in god's perfect timing we're becoming impatient we're becoming impatient because our hope is being deferred right hope deferred makes a heart grow sick right that's not what god wants but our hope is being deferred because we're placing our hope in things that are probably tangible that are probably material that are probably things that are fleeting and so now god is looking at you well like is that an idol <laughs> do you want do you want that thing or that person more than you want me i remember one time listen baby okay because god me and god keep it real with one another we very honest and direct and blunt with each other so he was like you just care about your little husband you don't even care about me you just you don't want to spend no time with me you <laughs> he be like Brittany, like you just listen baby why did you tell me don't tell me because <laughs> i be okay listen i like order I like structure and, and my order is a little different from God's order because I'm like, anyway, let me not go on a tangent. But yes, when your hope gets deferred, God is looking at you like, what do you want that's really more than me? Because I'm giving you me right now. So if you want something outside of me, then is that an idol? And if that's an idol, boo, 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 we breaking that right now. That's why it's not coming because you putting that above me. And so I released my marriage. I told God I don't want it. And honestly, whew, Holy Spirit, hold on because I'm getting hot now. Okay. <sighs> to be to be told like brother hasn't done anything for me to even want to be with him okay because nothing has transpired right for me to be like god i will want that more than you right because it, ideally you want somebody who's going to be a representation of god who god is in your life right and so god had to had to show me that Brittany, with me you have everything when you love me I'm going to send you somebody who loves you the correct way. And so I had to release my marriage to him. I had to release my desire to be married to him. And I had to not make it an idol, okay? And only when I did that, did God start opening the doors for me and speaking to me and helping me take off in my purpose and do the things of the Lord, keep my hands and my eyes focused on the Lord, right? So because your hope is deferred, check it or the lord is going to check you okay because you want to make sure that you're not making idols out of things you have enough because god is enough and god is with you on this journey okay the next thing you're growing weary okay when you grow weary guess what you want to do you want to take things into your own hands you want to take things into your own hands you're like you know what lord i don't even need you right now I'm, I, i'll handle it or get me off of this journey i don't even want to be in this right we get real ungrateful okay because <laughs> we're brats we're brats so we get real ungrateful we like lord i don't even want this no more okay and so we try to take it into our own hand our own hands but guess what when we what happens when we do that we move out of god's will okay because our minds and our thoughts and our actions they're going crazy and so now we're moving out of god's will and when we move out of god's will guess what happens my love you move out of his protection and so now you're causing more delay more delay in your life more discouragement and more like i just want to give up on this journey right so the lord does not want you to do that but you know we don't come on here without a solution okay we come here with our problems okay we come here <laughs> submit your worries to the lord of course too not to me but to the lord we come here with our problems but guess what because i'm a counselor i'm a super social worker super um doctor <laughs> we come here with a solution okay dr g got a solution for you baby you know i'm not gonna leave you without a solution here's the scripture that the father gave me and this is what he wants us to focus on okay um it is philippians 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 how do you say that four and eight okay i think it was like let me see chapter four verses i'm gonna just say eight through nine okay because i'm gonna read it it says finally brethren wait hold on where did i start at okay yes eight finally brethren whatsoever things are true this is from the king james version okay baby 
whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have birthed, learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you, okay? This is what God wants us to focus on during this time, okay? I'm going to read a different um, translation, the amplified version, okay? It's hot. Oh, listen, baby. Queen has to go. It says, finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, okay? Whatever is right and confirmed by God's word. If he confirmed it, come on now. Let's go, baby. Oh, this is ordained before the beginning of time. That's why it's going to happen. This was your life. He already spoke it. He told you the ending from the beginning. And now you about to be. Whew, this is beautiful. It says. Whatever is true. Whatever is honorable. Whatever is worthy of respect. Whatever is right and confirmed by God's word. Whatever is pure and wholesome. Whatever is lovely and brings peace. And brings peace. Do not focus on it. Y'all know we about peace and purpose over here. Do not focus on it if it does not bring you peace. That is not uh, the things of God. Okay? Um, Whatever is admirable and of good report. If anything is excellent. If anything is worthy of praise. Think continually on these things. Center your mind on them. Think continually on these things. Center your mind around them. And implant them in your heart. And plant these words in your heart. Focus on the things that God has told you. Focus on his word. What has he confirmed, okay? And plant those in your heart and dwell on that, okay? Delight in the Lord, right? Submit your supplications to him. He's going to order all of your steps and get you to where you need to be with the desires of your heart, okay? It is going to be a complete work in your life when he is done with you. Excuse me, a complete work. Don't ask me why I'm burping. Mind your business. But, uh... <laughs> Y'all know my green smoothies today. I was at Panera Bread, so I had a green passion smoothie. It was good. But anyway, guys, um, he's going to have a complete work be done in your heart, okay? So this is what he wants you to focus on right now, my loves. God got you. I got you. I'm here to deliver the messages to you from the Lord, all right? So be blessed. Do not forget to be a blessing. I love y'all so much, Kingdom family. I got some shout outs. Yo, Motley is in the building. Hello, queen. Janelle is in the building. Hello, queen. Delisha is in the building. Hello, queen. Christina is in the building. Hello, queen. Dennis is in the building. Hello, bro, my king. Hallelujah. Lachelle is in the building. Hello, queen. Tangie is in the building. Hello, queen. Erica is in the building. Hello, queen. Brittany is in the building. Hello, queen. Listen, Brittany, your name is so unique. I've never seen your name spelled this way. I've never seen my name spelled this way, okay? It's spelled Britain and with a Y at the end. I was like, this is mind-blowing. I've never seen <laughs> it spelled like that. But anyway, shout out to you, queen. You got my name, so okay or i might have your name i don't know but anyway nakia is in the building hello queen tiffany is in the building hello queen t weaver is in the building hello queen ruby is in the building hello queen isaiah my brother my king is in the building hello hello shout out to y'all nia is in the building nia is in the building i haven't done my shout outs in a minute so i was like girl let me get them out there i love y'all so much thank you for sowing into the keys to the kingdom um i will continue to pray and cover over all of the seeds that come through on my channel God's many blessings to y'all. He's going to advance and promote the works of your hands. And I just love y'all so very much. Hallelujah. They're going to grow beautifully and abundantly in Jesus' name. I thank you again, family. Be blessed. Do not forget to be a blessing. Go visit the queen at infinitelyheal.com for any counseling and healing services that I offer. Dr. G will meet you over there soon. And I'll see y'all next time for another video. <laughs> But I must go catch the gym because, listen, baby, I need the sauna. Love you.